Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. We are in the book of Philippians chapter two. Um, Paul's letter to the church at Philippi as he gives instructions to the believers there. And I have to say that Philippians chapter two is one of the great chapters uh, in all of scripture. I know it's hard to distinguish between chapters because the word of God is so um, authoritative and so rich and fresh every time you read it. But I think you'll agree that chapter two of Philippians is right there at the top of the list if there was a list of great chapters in all of scripture. Beginning at verse one, Paul says, is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So the reason I say that this uh, chapter is, is one, of the, one of the greats is because Paul does an incredible job of two things. Number one, he explains who Christ is, what Christ did, what Christ gave up for us. And number two, he tells us how we should imitate that. You know, it's one thing to, to talk about somebody and how great they are, how wonderful they are. It's another thing to then use that as an example to say, follow that as your lead for how to live your life. So if you go through these first verses of chapter two, um, Paul would say, this is how you should do it. You should love one another. You should be compassionate. You should uh, forgive one another. You should work with one mind and one purpose. You should not be selfish. You should be humble. Um, don't look out just for your own interest, but take it interest in others too. And then he transitions and he says, this is why you should do those things, because you should have the same attitude that Christ Jesus did. And what was that attitude? Even though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, what did he do? He gave it all up. He gave it all up. Imagine the son or daughter of one of the richest people, one of the wealthiest people in all the world. You, you, you pick the person, whether it's a, a, a corporate giant, whether it's an entrepreneur, but whoever that person may be. Imagine that son or daughter saying, I realize who I am, but I'm giving it all up. I'm denouncing my inheritance. I'm denouncing who I am. That is exactly what Jesus did. He gave up everything, his, his rightful place in the kingdom of God, and he came. God himself came as a man, humbled himself, and came and gave himself to us, for us, and died on the cross. And then he was elevated after that act of humility, that act of sacrifice. And now what is the end result? 
that every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That's what Jesus did for us. And what does he ask of us? To humble ourselves and to give our lives to him. The question is, will we do that today? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for these wonderful words inspired by the Holy Spirit, given to the Apostle Paul and written for us. Help us today, each of us that call ourselves followers of Jesus Christ, to humble ourselves just as the, Jesus did and become the servants that he has called us to be. We thank you that he willingly gave up all of his rights. Father, we thank you that you came as a man and gave your life for us that we could be redeemed. We thank you for that and we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful word to start today off with. I, I encourage you, go back to Philippians chapter 2 sometime today and read verses 1 through 11. You'll be encouraged and you'll be glad you did. You did. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. May you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.